Eight players, seven of them are honest, one of them is a cheater. Will the honest players find the cheater and win the money, or will the cheater take it all for themselves? Welcome to a very special Halloween edition of Lie, Cheat, and Steal. How dare you impugn my fever. Why didn't you listen to me? All I heard was sexy babysitter. And as always, we have eight players on our team tonight. Tonight they are Aza, Nadia, Lydia, Fletch, Jared, Matt, Brian, and CK. One of them has already randomly been made a cheater. I don't know who it is, but Amanda does. She picked them and she has passed out the questions. So I'm going to play some questions, see if they can figure out who the cheater is. But before we play our first two questions, this is a special Halloween edition. So have a few tricks up our sleeve to get started here. I have 20 numbers on the board here. 10 of them are tricks. 10 of them are treats. Treats are good things that will help you in the game. Tricks are things that will either hurt you in the game or hurt you personally. Or I have one other option. So you're each going to pick a number, and you can use it whichever round you like, or you can just not use it at all. It's up to you. If you don't want to pick a number, you can pick the Great Pumpkin up top, which I will guarantee you is either immunity or two votes against you. All right. So, Aza, pick a number or a pumpkin. Uh, I'm going to uh, pick number six. Number six. All right. Did I win? Yep. You, you won a million dollars. Congratulations, Aza. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nadia, yeah, go ahead. All the candy and corn. Ooh, um, thirteen. Thirteen, lucky thirteen. How many of these contain fentanyl? <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> is all I'll say. Lydia, go ahead. How about fifteen. Fifteen, it is. Fletch. In honor of my nephew that just turned fourteen today, uh, number fourteen. Mm, happy birthday to him. Jared. Number 11. 11, all right, we like these middle numbers. Matt. In honor of myself, who just turned 50 last week, I'm gonna pick 12. <laughs> <laughs> uh, glad math was not part of this game, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, go ahead. 19, please. 19. NCK. Number four. Four. All right. No one's taken the big risk yet. And you'll, you'll see there are a lot more here than eight, obviously, because if over the course of the game you find a number 10 answer on any question, you get to pick another one. So someone might have a shot at immunity still. So here we go. Here's what you picked. Would anyone like to play their good luck charm in round one? Just let me know. I would like to. All right. Anyone else? I'm going to hold on to it. Oh, we have to wait to use them to find out. You can out what use them now, or you can use them in a later round. You have you can use it once throughout the game. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Anyone else going? Go. I might as well, I might as well go since I'm since I usually get voted out in the first round. Okay, Brian and Fletch. <laughs> Anyone else? Last call. <laughs> Looking at you, Nadia. No, just <laughs> All right, Brian and Fletch. It is. Let's see what you will be getting to your advantage. Okay. Brian, you get to take one vote away from somebody. So Ooh. we'll just eliminate the vote of your choice before it's revealed. So that'll help you, hopefully. And Fletch. Well, Fletch, good job. You're starting off the bank with $5. <laughs> you question. Very good. Nice. Two, two treats so far. Okay, so remember that at voting time, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his, his well, absolute Fletch has $5 and he's not he's even saying. playing yet, which makes him a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like to hear how I chose the cheater tonight? Yes, please tell us. Well, I did a tarot spread for all of the contestants tonight, and um, whichever spread said that they were the cheater, well, they are the cheater. Good. And, of course, one more thing. Everyone who is not a current contestant, you are in our costume contest. Whoever is voted as having the best costume of the night for our final vote will win the prize in this box. And last year it was pumpkin spice candy corn. It will not be that again. So 
As players get eliminated, they will put in their costume and enter the contest, and we'll see who has the best one this year. All that out of the way, we'll get started with our first question of the night. Name the 10 overrated candies that we wouldn't miss, according to a 2022 Cracked article. And this is how you all learned that Cracked is still a website in 2022. <laughs> 30 seconds to talk about it, then we go to Aza for his answer. Go. Literally any of the old candies that you found in my grandma's candy dish. <laughs> but, yeah, like, my, my question is, is this overrated oh, no. good, but yeah, overdone? Like, like, like the really generic. <laughs> I, in my opinion, they look they look pretty bad. Is Thrills Canadian? Circus peanuts. Yes. Peeps. Candy corn. Like toffee. Candy canes. Butterstone. Really hard toffee. Cigarettes. Those, those famous Halloween candies, candy canes. <laughs> 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 my favorite Halloween tradition, opening stockings. <laughs> we didn't say Halloween candy. I know, I know. That's fair. Aza, you are first. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that uh, on this list is the candy that all of us um, uh, bookworm asthmatics read about in the Narnia books and thought must be so amazing, and then we actually had it and discovered it was actually pretty gross and say Turkish delight. Turkish delight, and that, that is all correct. Everyone who read Chronicles of Narnia thought it should be this wonderful thing, but it's sadly not on the board, no. Mm. <laughs> all right. I remember the animated version. It was like chocolate or something, and that's definitely not what it is. <laughs> Nadia. Um, uh, toffee? Toffee. No, sorry. Lydia. I feel like candy cigarettes would be on there. Candy cigarettes? No, not on the board. No. Fletch. I'm going to go with black licorice. Ooh, yeah. Oh, for four. Not there. All right, what? Jared, let's get on the board. How? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm throwing away all my guesses and playing it safe with circus peanuts. We are on the board. Circus peanuts, number four. <laughs> <laughs> How is black licorice not in there? Uh, it should be. Were you in the pocket of big black licorice here, apparently? <laughs> All right, Matt. <clears throat> Necco wafers. Necco oh, wafers. They are good. bad, and they are so bad that I don't think anyone likes them, so they are not on the board. Oh. <laughs> They're just little pieces of paper. All right, Brian. It's like dried toothpaste. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of those hard candies that are always in Grandma's candy bowl. And I'm not sure. Those I'm are dentures. Say Werthers. <laughs> Werthers. No, but yeah, they, they're what you're thinking of. They're just not on the board, unfortunately. Oh. CK. So these are not Halloween candies, right? Or no, it could they... be any candy. No, yeah. Okay, then I'm going to say Peeps. Number 10, Peeps. Whoa. Very good. Made up for it a little bit there. We'll go over if the other. If I'm trick or treat that someone drops a peep in my bag, <laughs> I, I'm thinking it is six months old. <laughs> How would you know they all taste six months old? <laughs> Anyone have any least favorites they want to shout out? Uh, I don't know. Those, those, those generic one. strawberry shaped ones with the. Uh, oh, Grandma's mel melting strawberry surprise. Yeah, those are that's cool. the yes, one. Yeah, that's one. Just a favorite, or yeah, I mean, that, 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 Oh, I love almond joy. I like almond joy too. I don't know why that's there. The caramel. What about, what about paper dots? Candy, candy necklace. necklace. Smart money. There's a black licorice. Oh, John Breakers. Jolly Ranchers. What? Cadbury cream eggs. Oh, yeah. come on. Yeah. And candy hearts, which, yeah. yeah. I gotta oh, yeah. Candy, candy hearts. <laughs> Moving on. Cadbury cream eggs is another that just, just, the they just opened up the pantry. Yes. yes. <laughs> Give me all the Cadbury yeah. cream eggs. Yeah. Candy, candy hearts. Candy, candy hearts. Candy canes and Cadbury cream hearts. Or cream yeah, eggs. I'll, I'll, take all the, I'll take all the Cadbury cream hearts. I don't care. <laughs> Ugh, candy, candy hearts <laughs> is just Necco wafers with sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> that could be their slogan <laughs> all right on that note name the horror movie by its tagline oh 
In space, no one can hear you scream. The night he came home. If Nancy doesn't wake up screaming, she won't wake up at all. The monster demands a mate. Sometimes dead is better. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Just because you're invited doesn't mean you're welcome. Herbert West has a very good head on his shoulders and another one in a dish on his desk. If this movie doesn't make your skin crawl, it's on too tight. And today the pond, tomorrow the world. Oh. 30 seconds, then we go to Nadia. Go. Does anyone mind if I run away here? Go ahead. Oh, yes. uh, all right. <clears throat> Alien. <throat> Halloween. <throat> a Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Think Bride of Frankenstein, but I'm not sure I'm for. Bride of Frank. Uh, that's Pet Cemetery. Dawn of the Dead. <sighs> Get Out. Reanimator. And nine, I'm not sure on. Maybe The Tingler. Ooh, that sounds like a different kind of movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're not even touching the number 10 one. Okay. <laughs> Nadia, you're first. Oh, man. Uh, I, you rattled them all off and none of them sank in. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your, your uh, and your DMs are all the answers, though. Band. You can just go look. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to take a stab at number nine and say species. Species. Nope. Sorry. Lydia. Um, I did take notes while you were rattling. And uh, the best that I have is Herbert West Reanimator. Very good head on his shoulders and another one in a dish on his desk. Reanimator, eight dollars. Fletch, the uh, number set the seven dollar one below that is because you're invited doesn't mean you're welcome. That's uh, get out. Get out. Yes, correct. Jared. So I have a guess at ten, and that's why. I didn't okay. I think it's frogs. Today the pond, tomorrow the yeah. world, the Betty Davis classic Frogs. Very oh, cool. I, wow. I never even see that. heard of that. I feel <laughs> like I need to see it, this now. Cheesy. I think it's 70s it or early song? 80s. Yeah. Is it as bad as Birdemic? It, no, it was either much. that or on Golden Pond. I would kind of decide. <laughs> <laughs> Kermit <laughs> slasher it? days. I thought it was that Based obscure on? Stephen King short film where it's like this oil slick on the pond. Uh, the, oh, the raft from Keep Creep Show Two. The, the, <laughs> it's phenomenal. Matt. It's really good. Uh, Six dollars. Um, Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead is the one he said, and that is correct. Fantastic tagline. Six dollars. Brian. Five dollars. Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery is right. That, is it just me, or is that one kind of lazy? What's the, the tagline or the, the it's, tag it's a quote line. from the movie? The, oh, it's a quote. When Fred Gwynn says it, it works, you know. Okay. All right. CK. I'm thinking this is like the move the movie poster tagline. It is, but it's and, also and a maybe line it from is. The movie. Okay. All right. Uh four dollar one is uh Bride of Frankenstein. Monster demands a mate. We also accept the Ivanka Trump story, but yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's also my Tinder bio. <laughs> 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 all right Aza. um well i'll you know what i'll take i'll take a chance uh and say number nine is tingler the tingler which is in fact a horror movie not a porn i was ck was suggesting <laughs> but no it's not correct sorry oh Who's, i'm gonna beat somebody up <laughs> what <laughs> so whoever said tingler did you jared i i, I did but I, was like, I said i don't know maybe <laughs> That's what do you guess for saying I don't know to Aza, who is apparently has the literal mind of uh, Bud Abbott. Okay. <laughs> In space, no one can hear you scream. Alien. The night he came home. Halloween. Nancy doesn't wake up screaming. Nightmare on Elm Street. Your skin doesn't crawl. It's on too tight. Black Christmas. Oh. oh. Right. Is it a Colin Faith. Okay. Yeah. It, is a, it is a Colin Faith, yeah. All right, players. At the end of round one. $52 in the bank, including that five bonus that was made. Here are your totals for the round. Who would like to throw out an accusation? I think it's Jared. <laughs> <laughs> really? After all he did for you? Yeah. 
Usually the host doesn't get insolent like this. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> just a costume. Just, <clears throat> yes. I'm just saying it, it sounded to me like he was reading uh, those, those titles. <laughs> All right, Jared, defend yourself. I don't have a defense. I knew I knew a, uh, nine out of the ten there. <laughs> actually, uh, can I do the unorthodox move of defending Jared and say that sure. I'm actually I I'm gonna go Jekyll and Hyde on this now. And and it's not fair that uh he gets accused for a pretty impressive feat of pop culture knowledge. But eh, that's the way it goes here. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Jared, would you like to accuse anybody? No, uh, sometimes that is better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to accuse? Okay, and uh, Brian, keep in mind, once the votes have been locked in, I will ask you whose vote you'd like to eliminate. Colin, can I give them a cheater fact why they vote? Yes, please, go ahead and give a cheater fact, sorry. Sorry. The cheater once lit the black flame candle on Halloween, but the only witches it generated were just some of their old exes. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I'll have the eight of you please lock in your votes. And everyone who is not one of them is in our audience. So let's see how much they can make. Let's see who we have. We have Ian, Liz, I think right now that's it. So all right, Ian and Liz, you gotta put your heads together on this one. We'll Woo! think about it during the break. We got it. Get it right, you add $5 to the audience bank. And just no pressure, last time we had an audience bank, they swept every question, so. Well, it had Tom and Susan in, like, the first yes. rounds. <laughs> Here we go. When it was first sold in the 1880s, candy corn was called what? Metamucil? And you guys can think about that, and when we come back, you'll give your answer. We'll see if you're... No, I'm kidding. There's, of course, three choices. Oh, God. Thank God. Chicklets, chicken feed, or sweet wax? Oh, my. <laughs> I think I know. I think I know. This. So we'll have you two think about that, and give your answer when we come back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Okay. I am, I'm an otter. <laughs> oh, wow. really terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it does also have a tail, but the way that the bottom looks, it looks like a full diaper. So <laughs> you'll just have to imagine it. Okay. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. For the break, we ask you when it was first sold in the 1880s, candy corn was called what? And Liz and Ian have come to their decision. All right. Do you think it is chicklets, chicken feed, or sweet wax for $5 into the audience bank? We are going with chicken feed. Chicken feed is the correct answer. Very good. Yeah. Woo! $5 in the audience bank to get going. And now and let's they, see. They just tossed it on the ground. Like, go get it. Who kids. will be joining them? <laughs> Probably yeah, taste wanna... better with a little bit of that. Ground seasoning. For your deal, who the votes are for, Brian, you get to eliminate the vote of your choice. Oh, the suspense. <laughs> I will eliminate Jared's vote. Jared's vote, okay. Jared's vote it is. That will not count towards the total. Let's use it. We'll start with you. Well, not Brian. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. Maybe that's the one you should have picked off. Nadia. Oh, I said CK. One Brian, one CK. Lydia? I chose the most letters, so I went with Fletch. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, Fletch, that's a new say? one. I voted for CK. Two for CK, Jerry. Sorry. We're not going to see Jared's vote, but he can tell us. Uh, I said Matt. Okay. Matt, who'd you say? I said Aza. Okay. The only he, one, Matt. Because he, he, he both attacked and defended Jared, and that's just way too <laughs> erratic for me. Oh. Brian? I, didn't consider I that. said Fletch. Two for Fletch, two for Ooh. CK. Uh, oh. CK, who'd you say? Hmm. <laughs> I said Nadia. Which Ooh. means we have a tie. Oh. I'm sorry, you lose half your money. Oh. And the cheater gets to pick off the player of their choice. See who the first honest player leaving the game is gonna be. Matt, I'm sorry. Matt, the cheater has chosen you. We know you weren't the cheater. So if you wanna go ahead and get in costume, you'll be the next member of our costume contest. Seven players right. left in the game. 
and one of them is a cheater. We'll be right back. Live Sheet and Steal. Very nice. Wow. I love it. Tell us what That's you are. I'm a um, plague doctor, I guess, or like a guy hanging out in a t-shirt after Burning Man, maybe. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. One honest player voted out of the game, $26 in the bank. But we had two top answers last round, which means CK and Jared both get to pick another number, or they can take a crack at the Great Pumpkin, which is either immunity or two votes against you. It's randomly selected. So, CK, you had the first number 10 answer, so pick another number. 20. 20 it is. All right. And Jared. Let's go one. One, okay. CK, I'm wondering if the numbering sequence you've chosen was coincidental or not, but... <laughs> <laughs> like it either way. See what I mean here. So, would anyone like to use their <laughs> cauldron this round? Any I would like to. Okay, Nadia would. Anyone else? I'd like Do to use one. Okay, which okay, one? Do, okay. do I have to use both? Or one, you can use one, one, you can use both, whatever you like. Just number four. Number four for CK, Nadia as well. Jared, I, uh, you have... I just wanted to point out how cool it is that CK got 420. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Jared, you have, Jared, you have 11. And okay, 11. I'm way slow then. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have gotten that one. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll use now, just number one. Just well, number one. Okay. Anyone else? Ago, I thought there were spiders crawling on my seat, no, but they were just... Chips okay. in the ceiling tile, so Lydia's also using hers. All I'm right, not high, you're high. Start with CK as number four. Uh, okay, CK, that is the doubler. So every answer uh, you give to both questions in this round, you'll get double the money for it. Ooh, nice. nice. All right, Jared is using number one. Uh, Jared, the next tie break vote, you'll have safety. You can now be voted out mm -hmm. of a tie break. I've got a question. If, yeah. If if I roll over, does it still count if the person I roll over to? No, it... but if they roll over to you, it does. <laughs> Lydia. Oh, uh, Lydia, I'm sorry. $10 taken away from the bank. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Hello, Lydia. I know, who, <laughs> I know who I'm voting for. <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys voted out, Matt. He had $10. That would have equaled out, but you voted it out. Crap. Nadia. Nadia, there will be one vote against you this round. I'm no. sorry. You have to work out of it. All right. Let's get on and play our round here. Yeah, $16 in the bag. All right. Name the 10 scariest horror movie scores according to Classic FM. And I will say that a few of these, you might, you might call them horror adjacent movies, not quite horror movies. 30 seconds to talk about it, then we'll go to Lydia. Go. The Exorcist, I mean, Halloween, obviously Psycho, The Omen, um, Shining, Psycho. Which one? Shining. The Those Shining. The Shining. Orange. Halloween. Um, a movie score isn't scary. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Is, is it knocking on the Halloween score for the second time this week? <laughs> All right. I'm sure he's going to tell his boombox story, but Lydia first. Halloween? Uh, Halloween is the one I was surprised didn't make the board. That What? I know. I know. They're wrong. Are they... <laughs> Fletch. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Jaws. Number two, Jaws. Yeah. Ooh. Jared. <laughs> Yeah, no Halloween has really thrown me for a loop here. Um, let's, there's got to be one slasher on there, so let's say Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th? No. Brian. Let's try The Exorcist. The Exorcist, there you go. Number seven, 350. I'm wondering if the reasoning was that the Halloween score is really close to The Exorcist. I don't know. CK. Let's do uh, Lydia's The Shining. The Shining, yeah, good one. Number five. Thank you, Lydia. You're welcome. Good teamwork. And you get double for that, of course, so that's $5 Yay. for it. Yay. Aza. 
Uh, I'm going to go with the gimme and say Psycho. Uh, yeah, number one, Psycho, 50 cents. And Nadia. And I'm just going to go with the one I said then. Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange. It has an iconic score, but it does not make the list. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Other John Carpenter they went with was The Thing. Of course. Uh, Rosemary's Baby. Lord of the Rings. Go. <laughs> Ghost. Ghost. Uh, that's what I said. Some of it's horror adjacent. It has a good score, but yeah. The Room? Beetlejuice. Oh! <laughs> that's so scary. <laughs> Oh my God! Under the Poor skin, Jason. and this was said, and then no one went with it. The Omen. The Omen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Omen could be number one. That's great. I didn't say it because I thought you said Ye Omen, like the uh, medieval. The Omen uh, Farmers. They're so sort of terrifying. Of <laughs> yeah. It's actually uh, the score for uh, Man of the Hands of Fate. <laughs> uh, name these things that happened on October thirty first. Oh shit. This James Bond actor dies in 2020. In 2011, the world's population reaches this number. In 1922, he becomes Prime Minister of Italy. In 1517, these are nailed to a door in Wittenberg. 1926, a week after passing out on stage, he dies of appendicitis. In 2002, the former chief financial officer of this company is indicted. In 1941, after 14 years of work, this U.S. monument opens. 1984, this world leader is assassinated by two security guards. 1864, this U.S. state, the 36th, is admitted to the Union. And 1879, this infamous and infamously named Civil War general dies. 30 seconds, then we will go to Fletch. Oh. Roger Moore for number one. Mm-hmm. Would that be? No, Sean Connery. Roger Sean Connery. Moore. Okay. No, no I, I think it was Roger Moore. S- seven billion for the population. 1517 was like the Martin Luther. Yeah, exactly. 90, 95 theses. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, uh, Harry, if somebody uh, wants to take a shot, number 10 could be General Hooker. Houdini is the appendicitis. Yeah. Okay. Time is up. And we're going to start with Fletch. Um, 1517, that's Martin Luther nailing the 95 theses on to yada yada. Yes, very good. Thank you. Yada Yada was actually part of the recorded history. Very good. Yes. Four dollars. <laughs> Jerry. It was like 12 feces, then yada yada. Right, yeah. yeah. You know the rest, yeah. Yeah. All right, as much as I'd love to scream hooker, I'm just not 100% positive. <laughs> but I am positive number nine is Nevada. That is How right, Nevada. That? Very good. I know that Ooh. from the question for the substitute game I hosted last week. Yeah, I, I thought of it when you said it like ah. question next week. <laughs> Brian. I am gonna go for number 10 hooker. Hooker. Damn it. Brian, you I was gonna say it and get CK, double the money. Who has the doubler and could have put twenty dollars <laughs> in the bank because it is in fact Joseph Hooker. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Brian. But still, $10, very good. Brian, good job, I guess, I guess we're very shocked right now. Right. Good job, uh-huh. this, is, this is the first time we've had hookers in Nevada He's in the good. same question. It's not that. Right. <laughs> and 95 theses. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what you guys list. Uh, okay, so 1926, that's um, Harry Houdini. Houdini is right. Very good. Ten dollars. Hmm. All right. The is, is oddly proud of that fact. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh Two thousand two. Uh. Six dollars. That would be Enron. Enron is right. Very good. Nadia. I think I heard something about the population reaching seven billion. Uh, I need the number down to the... No, that is correct. Seven billion. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to dish something out. Yeah. And Lydia. Seven billion and Keith. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Roger Moore, 2020. I didn't think that would be the tricky one. It's not Roger Moore. I'm sorry. I screwed up. I totally just realized that. Sean Connery, yeah. I just. I didn't know he was dead. That, uh, <laughs> Roger Moore died during the pandemic. Time was irrelevant. I well, this totally was also forgot. during the pan- yeah, pandemic. All right. yeah. yeah, Mussolini, 14 years of work, Mount Rushmore. And 1984 was the assassination of 
Indira Gandhi. Oh, oh yeah. In the bank at the end of round two, sixty-seven dollars. So you're doing pretty well. Here are your totals for the round. Who would like to throw out an accusation? I was very clear about how I knew the hooker uh, answer. I just want to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Because you love the Confederacy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was, a, he was a Union general, to be fair. Any other Very accusations? Nice All right. Keep in mind, unfortunately, Nadia will have one automatic vote against her. Womp, womp. Uh, we have another fact about our cheater. We do. So the cheater definitely doesn't push the planchette when using the Ouija board. Except for maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Need the seven of you to please lock in your votes. What, and what's audience, it here comes your next question. <laughs> All right, so uh, audience, your new captain is Mac. So here we go. Which of these horror novels was published first? Dracula, Frankenstein, or The Turn of the Screw? Uh, Matt, Ian, and Liz, you can talk about that during the break, and we'll reveal the answer when we come back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Before the break, we asked our audience, which of these horror novels was published first? Dracula, Frankenstein, or The Turn of the Screw? And Matt, we're going to go to you for the answer now that you've talked it over. Uh, Dracula. Dracula. The wrong answer. Oh. I'm sorry. That was published almost at 1900. The earliest was, in fact, Frankenstein. Oh, my goodness. In what, I thought Amanda. I claim sabotage. <laughs> Wow. I don't okay. have these answers. We still have five dollars in the bank. And one vote for Nadia out of the gate. So CK, we'll start with you. I voted for Nadia. Took the strategic move and voted for Nadia. All right. Brian, did you also? I did not. I voted for Aza. Okay. Jared, who'd you say? Yeah, I just can't kick someone when they're down like that. I said Fletch. <laughs> of course. Fletch, who'd you say now that you've been kicked? I, I said Brian. Okay. Lydia? I also said Brian. Two for Brian. Nadia? I said Jared. <laughs> all right. So it all comes down to Aza's vote. Aza? I said Fletch. Two Fletch. To Nadia, to Brian, no consensus. We have ourselves another tie. Oh, my God. Money's cut in half once again, and you all need to send Amanda, the player you want to send home. Cheater, only your vote counts. Let's see who the cheater has eliminated this time. They've controlled the whole game so far. The next player joining our costume contest will be... Brian, I'm sorry. We know you weren't the cheater. Hopefully you can come back at the end of the game and earn some money. We are down to just six players. We'll be right back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. I'm assuming that's your whole costume. <laughs> I, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little speck of dirt on his camera. <laughs> I feel really dumb, but I'm, I'm just watching on a little phone, so I can't tell. That's a filter. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal Halloween. We have six players left in the game, and one of them is a cheater and has broken two ties so far. So before we play the next round, Aza, Jared, CK, you each have uh, one special advantage you have left to use. Would you like to use it this round? Yes, yes. I'll use mine. Yeah, fire it up. Everyone's going to use them. All right. Yep. Let's see what we've got. We'll start with Aza. Uh, Aza, you have to go last on both questions this round. That's one, one of the more harmless tricks in this batch. Jared. Jared, you will be the only person to talk as an accusation for this round. So you will talk and then we will vote. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. That's a kiss of death. And CK, for the rest of the game, you must answer every question in an impression of your choice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you want to trade CK? Right. You can mix it up if you like. <laughs> But they must be in an impression of your choice. Is there a penalty if she doesn't? I can't accept an answer that's not an impression. <laughs> Name the fictional characters who wore these Halloween costumes. Number two. Number two. Number two. 
three. It's a third costume. Four. Five. Six. Seven. <clears throat> eight. Nine. And 10. Need the character, not the show or movie they were in. You're going to have 30 seconds to talk about it. And then we'll go to Jared for his answer. Go. Anyone want to know the top four? I yeah, know the hand is out from To Kill a Mockingbird. 450s from The Karate Kid. Which Daniel, yeah, Daniel, 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 Daniel LaRusso. LaRusso. Yeah. And, uh, $4, $4 is Scout from To Kill a Mockingbird. $2 is yeah. e, uh, E.T. Time. Okay. And we are starting with Jared. $3 is Louise Belcher. That is correct. You got the right Belcher. Very good. $3. She is Anton from No Country for Old Men. <laughs> Ter terrible parents. <laughs> <laughs> CK. Well, <laughs> this is my really bad SpongeBob impression. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to say, uh, no, uh, 250. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> uh, 250 is uh, Lucy. Lucy Van Pelt, very good, yes. Horrible. <laughs> uh, we had to go to Aza last, so Naughty is next. Oh, uh, 350 is Ted Mosby? Yes, Ted Mosby is a hanging chat. <laughs> Lydia. Uh, four is Scout from To Kill a Mockingbird. Scout from To Kill a Mockingbird is right, yes, to be a ham. All right, Fletch. 450 is Daniel LaRusso from The Karate Kid. That is right. 450 for you and Aza. Uh, $2 is E.T. from the movie E.T. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying it was E.T. <laughs> from E.T. All right. <laughs> Number one, Dwight. Number two, Ross. Three is Ned Flanders. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. It's <laughs> Satan <laughs> as Ned Flanders as Satan. <laughs> Five is Lexi from Euphoria as Bob Ross. Moving on. Over the course of five Scream films, there have been 10 actors who have played Ghostface, nine physical actors and one voice actor, and I need you to name them. 30 seconds to talk about it, and then we will go to CK for her first answer. They're just ranked in order of difficulty. Go. Eat Ulrich. Mm. That is my and then, and then dead silence for 28 seconds. <laughs> it's kind of like Skeet Ulrich's career since 1996. Didn't Matthew Lillard? Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Um, God, I'm glad I got eliminated. Did, for did there any other characters like I wear the mask, like Gail? <laughs> no, 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 who have actually been the killer. I know. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just worn the mask for a brief period. CK, you're first. Um, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah. <laughs> this isn't even my Halloween costume. <laughs> it's just an impression you had on hand. That counts, so go ahead. This looks like that footage from the 80s where that PBS was hacked by a dude in a Max Hedra mask. <laughs> Timothy Oliphant, very good. Scream two, number three, three dollars. <laughs> spoilers if you haven't seen the later Scream films, we're about to spoil who the killer is. <laughs> <laughs> and spoiler if you haven't seen Scream three, it's terrible. Nadia, you're next. <laughs> uh, I heard Matthew Lillard. Number one, Matthew Lillard. Yes. 
Lydia. Skeet, 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 Ulrich. Skeet Ulrich is number two. Very good. Two dollars. Fletch? I'm going to use my rollover. Okay. Who to? Um, Jared. Okay. Jared, who contributed so much. <laughs> <laughs> good use of the rollover, Fletch. Jared, what will it be? It's awful use of the rollover. Because I haven't seen them past the first one. <laughs> That's why I rolled over. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. It was a trap. Um, no. <laughs> how about Liev Schreiber? Liev Schreiber, he was in the series, and he was a red herring. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can use it. You've got another answer to guess, or you can pass right back to Fletch. Okay. No, I'm not that mean. Hey, Pantier. You're guessing actors who were in the series, but yes. she was not the killer. Sorry. I'm, I'm looking at the posters in my mind. Yeah. yeah. Aza, you're up. Uh, I know it's not Neff Campbell. I'm just uh, saying this to point out that I have more Twitter followers than her. Neff Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aza, bragging, but she is not on the board. Okay. No, not Neff Campbell. All right. We'll go over the. Sorry, <laughs> Metcalf. Emma Roberts. Rory Culkin, Scott Foley, The Voice, Roger Jackson, and the most recent one, Jack Quaid, and Mikey Madison. All right. In the bank, at the end of that round, you have $59. See if you can hold on to all of that by finding the cheater Ooh, or just coming to some consensus, please. Here are your totals for the round. Now, if I accuse, is that person allowed to defend themselves? Nope. You just get to say as much as you like. Ah, crap. <laughs> You can opt no. for nothing, and I won't take anything away because it's a specialty round. But I'm good. Everyone was equally convincing to me that round. Okay. Amanda has a third fact about our cheater. I do. You know, the cheater once had their palm red. It turns out that they have no heart line. Make of that as you will. <laughs> <laughs> Need the six of you to please lock in your votes. Uh, and our audience question is coming up. It looks like our most recent audience member is taking a nap. So, <laughs> Liz will put you in charge for this one. Here's the question for $5. What was the original name of the 1996 film Scream? Stab, Scary Movie, or Suburban Slash Fest? Go ahead and think about that during the break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Before the break, we asked you what was the original name of the 1996 film Scream, and our audience has thought it over, and they're going to tell us their answer. Liz, what have we decided on? Oh, um, with my vast expertise, I went with uh, Suburban Slash Fest. Suburban Slash Fest. I guess is incorrect i'm sorry is it scary movie it and they went fact, scary movie yeah was that wow. a clever pun on that the, was like that was, was a clever word for them that's great because there's the line what's your favorite scary movie and that was going to be the yeah, that was going to be the name of the movie and they decided it was scream after all and then the scary movie wow. franchise took the name <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> all right the flash fest was the original name for toyota fun <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with CK. I said uh, Fletch this time. One for Fletch. Oh. Jared? I said Aza, because me and the Nev army got to rise up. Aza, <laughs> <laughs> who'd you say? I said CK, so I wouldn't have to look at that mask anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, because if we eliminate players, they have to put on a costume. That'll go great. Nadia, who'd you say? <laughs> Well, I kind of regret it now because I thought CK was coming at me hot again. <laughs> Two for CK, Lydia. I went with Aza this time. Two Aza, two CK, one Fletch. Fletch, please uh, don't use another tie. I voted for CK. You did. That is three for CK. She is out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> And CK, we have to know, were you the cheater? I just, first of all, want you to know that I have more followers than Aza does. 
And yes, yeah, so I was the cheater. He was the cheater. Nicely <laughs> done. To keep all your money. And when we come back on Lie, Cheat, and yeah. Steal, there will be a new cheater. We'll be right back. I am uh, <laughs> much the cat. <laughs> Love it. That's great. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. And we have a nice cameo from Halloween star Kyle Richards. <laughs> Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Three players out of the game, and our players found the cheater, which means a new cheater has been assigned for this round, and it is, in fact, the round four immunity challenge. I will give a question with many, many answers, and the last person left standing giving right answers wins immunity for this vote. So, quick way to find out who the new cheater is. In addition, if you come together with five answers, that's $10. 10 answers is 20. 15 is 30. 18 is $50. And if you get a sweep of 20, $60 into the bank. Most importantly, last player left standing wins immunity for the round. Here is your category for tonight. Candy bars sold by Hershey's. And there are currently a total of 28. Aza, you're first. Uh, I'm, I'm first to name a candy bar sold by Hershey's. Yes. <laughs> Can I say the Hershey bar? Yes, Hershey's milk. <laughs> Did I win? Hadn't started with that one. All right, that is one. We are on the board, off and running. Nadia. Oh, uh, dark chocolate? Yep, special dark. Lydia. Hershey with almonds? Yep, Hershey with almonds, very good. No I am my last. <laughs> Fletch. <laughs> the Reese peanut butter cups made by Hershey's? They are now owned by Hershey's, yeah, Reese's peanut butter cups. Boom. Now, I mean, like, since 1960, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jared. Okay, in that case, let's go with Reese's Take Five. Reese's Take Five is right, yeah. Just, just clarifying the definition here. So, like Reese's Pieces would not count. They're just little candy bites. They're not a, they're not a candy bar. And we have five, so that is ten dollars. Aza, back to you. Oh shoot, uh, uh, Hershey bar still. Uh, do we say? Yeah, we said to take five. Uh, nutrageous. Nutrageous is right. <laughs> it is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's game brought to you by. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Nadia, you're next. Uh, cookies and cream? Cookies and cream. Yeah, that's right. Lydia? Whatchamacallit? Whatchamacallit is correct. <laughs> Please answer the question. Okay, here we <laughs> Fletch? Uh, Snickers? Snickers. <laughs> Snickers is made by Mars. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jared. What about crackle? Crackle. Yep, that's right. That's nine. Back to Aza. No. Um. Uh, uh. The fast break. Fast break is correct. I know my candy bars, fools. <laughs> so much every turn. And like, oh, this race is one. Okay. Cool. Uh, back to Nadia, we have twenty dollars. So take five is when you like let it breathe, but fast break is like when you're in a rush. Yeah, I won't Amazon ask what that range is. Yeah, the <laughs> Amazon employees do the fast break. Salted caramel. Salted caramel. Don't have anything called that here. Sorry. Down to three, Lydia. Mm, how about hundred grand? Hundred grand, not owned by Hershey's. No. Down to just Aza and Jared for immunity. Jared. Mr. Goodbar. Mr. Goodbar, yes. Aza. Mm. Uh, payday. Payday is not a Hershey bar, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ironic. I lost my payday <laughs> by guessing payday. <laughs> Which means Jared wins immunity for the round, but he can keep going if he knows more. See, I... I... This whole time, I've been dancing on the edge of a Nestle trap. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm not going to get four more. I, I'm okay. out. All right. Uh, now, this is this would be a Nestle trap in other countries, but in the U.S., Kit Kat is owned by Hershey's. 
<laughs> as is Kit Kat Extra Crispy, Kit Kat White, York Peppermint Patty, Mounds, Almond Joy, Heath Bar, Score Zero. That that's not one thing. It's Score and then a zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spe- extra Dark, Hershey Symphony. Yeah, but you got eleven, and Jared wins community for the round. I'll put that twenty dollars into the bank for you. <laughs> $79 in the bank. Jared won the immunity. Everyone else is up for elimination. Time to accuse. Based on this round only. Kate has been awfully quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Whose costume do I want to see next? <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> Anyone want to add anything? Amanda has another fact about our new cheater. I do. So the new cheater, their favorite scary movie list includes home videos that their parents made of them during the third grade holiday program, Muppets in Space, and the never ending story. Okay. Need the five of you to please lock in your votes. Cannot vote for Jared. And audience, we're going to your next question here. You've only banked $5 so far. CK is in charge now and she will give the answer, but you can discuss this question during the break. Bobby Boris Pickett was proud to say that who once said Monster Mash was, quote, the stupidest thing he ever heard. <laughs> Elvis Presley, Billy Graham, or Johnny Carson? Think about that. We'll reveal the answer when we come back. Lie, cheat, and steal. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Before the break, we asked our audience, Bobby Boris Pickett was proud to say that who once said Monster Mash was the stupidest thing he ever heard. And our audience has come to a decision. CK is going to tell us what that is. Elvis. Elvis Presley. He would preface his concerts by saying that Elvis called the Monster Mash the stupidest thing he'd ever heard. Very good. That's spectacular. I love that. Five into the bank for you. Hold on. Concerts? <laughs> well, performance. <Yeah. laughs> I, I thought you were going to say that Elvis prefaced his concert yeah. by talking about the monster. <laughs> Hey everyone, you know what I hate? The monster man. Oh, before we begin. Here's a dog. Everyone, sell down, sell down. I got some opinions of Francis there. And that's how that song rocketed to fame because everybody's like, oh my God, Elvis hates it. We have to listen to it. You must sing the Monster Bash song. Yeah. All right, Jared, let's see who you think of the cheater is. We know you couldn't get any votes. I said Fletch. One for Fletch. Fletch, who'd you say? Lydia. Okay, Lydia, who'd you say? I said Nadia. One Nadia, one Lydia, one Fletch. Nadia? I said Lydia. Two for Lydia. Aza? I said Fletch. (laughs) Number three. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) (laughs) I need all of you to send Amanda, the name of the player you want to send home. Cheater, only your vote counts. Jared still has dead immunity. It can't be him. (laughs) Cheater has cast their vote. See which honest player is about to leave the game. The cheater has eliminated. Aza. I got it wrong. I'm sorry, Aza. <laughs> <laughs> you have been eliminated from the game. You know you weren't the cheater. Bank is at 39.50. We are down to four players. We come back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. They'll give two answers for every question. Be right back. Uh, I'm a 90s cop, and I have a straw. (laughs) Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Four players left in the game. One cheater has been found, but they failed again in the most recent round. 39.50 in the bank, and everyone gets to give two answers per question now. Here we go. In the 10 foods you must eat this fall, according to a Huffington Post demand, apparently. (laughs) 30 (laughs) seconds to talk about it. Double good to Nadia for her first answer. Go. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Pie. And the apple. apple You can eat anything you find at Thanksgiving. Uh, Yeah, turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes. Pumpkin spice latte. Mm. Uh, Does it include drinks? Would it be like hot cider? Yes, uh, it drinks count, yeah. Pancakes, just because. S'mores. Pumpkin bread. Okay. And we're going to start with Nadia. Uh, pumpkin pie. 
Uh, they lumped all pumpkin under under one thing, so all those pumpkin okay. answers are going to count. There, oh, there you shoot. go. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Anything pumpkin, three fifty. Lydia. Anything apple? No, uh, no, apple. no, no. In that case, apple yeah. <laughs> apple crisp. Apple crisp. No, sorry. Fletch. Uh, apple pie. Apple pie. Number ten. <gasps> Five dollars. Jared. How about donuts? Apple cider donuts are number three. Yeah. One fifty. Those actually sound really good. You do. <laughs> they Nadia, are. back to you. Uh, tomato soup. Yes, number two is grilled cheese with tomato soup. Oh, oh good call. Good call. Yeah. Nice. Or a good read of your answer, depending. Lydia. How about uh, hot apple cider? Apple cider is number eight. Four dollars. Fletch? Craft dinner and hot dogs. <laughs> Craft dinner and hot dogs. Not on the board, sorry. Ah, damn it. And Jared? How about candy? Candy. No. Look, there's a little more substantial apparently here. Let's see. Number one, apples. Caramel oh, apples. Gotta have the candy <laughs> right. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Oh, no. right chocolate. there. Chocolate. Fletch's favorite pot roast. Oh, wait. <laughs> and pasta with meat sauce. I did get that. It didn't take me 10 minutes this time. <laughs> I mean, you really got to Moving on to our there. werewolf round. In what movies would you find these werewolves? If it's a series, just give me the series. I don't need the individual installment. Oh, thank God. Number one, yeah. You're off the hook on that. Um, oh, Two? Yeah. Three? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And number 10. I'm going to have 30 seconds to talk about it. Then we'll go to Lydia for her first answer. Go. Twilight. Harry Potter. Yeah. Dean Wolf. I feel like I might know the $8 one. Mark and Will. Uh, I think $8 is the one uh, with Anthony Hopkins. <clears throat> oh. So Ooh. seven Ooh, or the one I thought it could was, be so. the Howling, oh, oh. but I don't know which one. Hotel Transylvania. I'm guessing the Wolfman for yeah. five. Teen Wolf. Time. Okay, Lydia, you're first. Uh, let's go with a very safe uh, American Werewolf in London, four dollar. American Werewolf in London. Yeah, very good. Four dollars. Fletch. Seven dollars. Is that the Howling? Seven dollars is in fact the Howling. Yes. Has the, the best sequel title of all time. The Howling 2, Your Sister is a Werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Not my sister, your sister. The audience's sister is a werewolf. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Jared. I'm going to roll over to Fletch because that's what we do here. All right. Back oh, to Fletch okay. we go. I, I'm going to take a stab. I'm going to take a stab at the $8 one. Um, I feel like that as a movie I saw way back called in the company called in the company of wolves. It was like a modern day, like little red riding hood kind of movie. I'm not sure if that's it though. In the company of wolves is not the answer. I'm sorry. Ah, Nadia. Uh, um, six is hotel Transylvania. It is hotel Transylvania. Back to Lydia. I, I think. Eight is the Wolfman. It's not the Wolfman. I'm sorry, Fletch. Uh, three dollars. Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. Yeah. And Jared. I think five is the Wolfman. Five is the Lon Chaney yeah, original, the Wolfman. 
I think I, we were also thinking of the Anthony Hopkins Benicio del Toro Wolfman, but that was not on here. One, of course, is Twilight. Two is Harry Potter. Anyone know these top three? They're tough. Curse of the Werewolf. For no, no. eight Tim. is Monster Squad. Oh my god! Oh, right. Nine <laughs> is Michael Landon in I Was a Teenage Werewolf. Oh. I was. And ten was Universal's first werewolf movie. But the actor refused to actually wear much werewolf makeup, so he just kind of looked like that. It's Werewolf of London. <laughs> yeah. <I will>. Yes. <laughs> His hair was perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 75.50 are your totals for the round. No one has immunity anymore, so. Oh. Go ahead and talk it out. Who do you think the cheater might be? I didn't realize I did that much. I, I Am I the cheater? <laughs> <laughs> We've arrived at the existential crisis round. <laughs> Nadja, is tomato soup a fall food where you're from? Well, the way I, I envisioned it was because people usually are like doing their gardening at, in fall. Yeah, and it's a slightly Throwing cooler the weather. together. And it's a cooler weather comfort food too. I mean, I ate that meal last week. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia, do you want to accuse anybody? Uh, Butch seems pretty suspicious to bring it on to himself casually. Well well, well I'm, I'm suspicious of myself how did i get 15. you got five and you got past two a couple times I, and you got you got uh, just howling that's fair yeah Nadja, i was suspicious of you because of your tomato soup answer and fletch came to defend you <laughs> amanda has another fact about her <laughs> cheater i do so the cheater danced around naked during the last full moon, but not because they're witchy or anything. They just like doing the macarita naked. Okay. <laughs> Need the four of you to please I lock in like your vote. I feel like I'm being watched. Audience got a $10 <laughs> question for you here, and Aza is the most recent member of the audience, so he will head this up. You can all talk it over. Here's your question. True or false, despite it being referenced in Warren Zevon's Werewolves of London, Beef chow mein was never on the menu at Lee Ho Fuchs in London. Think about that during the break. We'll get your answer when we come back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Before the break, we asked our audience, despite it being referenced in Warren Zevon's Werewolves of London, beef chow mein was never on the menu at Lee Ho Fuchs in London. True or false? Aza, what do we think? I think that's, uh, I think that's, Wait, I think it's true that it was never on the menu. Okay, it's true that it was, in fact, never on the menu. No, it was, in fact, on the menu. I'm sorry. This that was false. Yes, man. Oh, well. Sorry. All right. $10 in the audience bank, and let's see if our players have found the cheater. Jared, we'll start with you. I said Nadia. One for Nadia. Nadia? I said Fletch. For Fletch, Fletch. I said Lydia. Okay. Lydia, please tell me we don't have a four-way tie. I said Nadia. Two for Nadia. She has been voted out of the game. Sorry, <laughs> Nadia. <laughs> Two votes, you are out of the game, and now we have to know. Were you the cheater? I was. She was the oh, cheater. Damn. My tomato God. soup answer was legit, though. I didn't look at the. I didn't look at the I, answer. I, I, I totally. I, I totally uh, can vouch for that. I mean, it would be. It would be my. It'd be an answer like it's a comfort food thing in the fall. Seventy-five fifty in the bank, and when we come back for the final round of lie, cheat, and steal. We'll have another cheater. They're very good at this tonight. Silk Spectre from Watchmen. Holy cow, that's fantastic. And I sewed this all myself. Ooh, right on. Wow, that's amazing. That is awesome. That's amazing. That is, uh, we want to give a special shout out to our three finalists who all have fantastic costumes. We have Fletch. <laughs> we have Jared. 
and the one everyone came here for, Lydia. <laughs> right, we're back to the final round of Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Another cheater has been found, which means we have a new one for this final round of the game. 7550 sits in the bank. And here comes our next to last question. Name the 10 scariest animated films, according to a 2015 Rotoscopers article. Rotoscopers. 30 seconds to talk about it, then we go to Fletch for his first answer. Go. Oh, clearly Pinocchio's got to be on that list. Bambi. See, see all the all the all the like Halloween the like Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, um, yep. Corpse Line. I'm thinking of aren't really scary. Frank and Weenie. Parts of like the original Fantasia. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But rotoscopers, I'm guessing it's stop motion. No, no, it's it's that's, that's just the uh, magazine that published the article. It's not just okay. I'm just motion. overthinking things. Again. No, it's okay. <laughs> Fletch, you're first. Pinocchio. Gotta be Pinocchio, number seven, three fifty. Jared, uh, Coraline, Coraline, number one, fifty cents. Lydia, I feel like Bambi was a little scary. Yeah, Bambi is a scary one, but it doesn't make the list. Right. Fletch, um, yeah, Fan Fantasia had some parts that kind of scared. It Here does, but it doesn't it. make the list. No. What? Yeah, I know. Jared. What about heavy metal? Heavy metal. No, sorry. And Lydia, one more. Uh, Dumbo? Dumbo. Stick it with Disney. No, sorry. Okay. Let's see what else is there. Black <laughs> the Disney Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, ache about a Mr. Toad. Spirited Away, Frankenweenie, uh -huh. Paranorman, Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, Monster House, and there it is, Black Cauldron, number 10. Most of these are pretty recent, and Corpse though. Bride and Nightmare Before Christmas are not scary. Okay. <laughs> they really aren't. That's <laughs> what's so on the list. Okay, name these horror trios. You can... Uh, if you don't get all three, it's okay. You can still take credit for one or two. Actresses who played the Sanderson sisters in Hocus Pocus. The three human characters who live in the Overlook Hotel in The Shining. The three alien movies directed by Ridley Scott. The three Alfred Hitchcock films that made Bravo's Scariest Moments series. There were three different uh, entries in that. Things Linus will never discuss with people. The three silver shamrock masks in Halloween 3. The three actors whose characters are not confirmed dead in The Thing. Lucy's three suitors in Dracula. The three male characters who die in The Exorcist. And one word Mike Flanagan films. And for The Exorcist one, I'm talking about human characters, not, not the demon itself. 30 seconds, then we'll go to Jared for his first answer. Go. That my daughter, Kathy Najimi, uh, oh. horses. <laughs> Carrie. Sir. That's a part. Yes. Yeah. I, I, Sarah something. <laughs> okay, glad we've landed on what number one is there. Uh, Jared, you're first. <laughs> Um, sorry, to clarify, we, we pick a category and then try to name three? Yep, you can go for all three, but if you only get two of three, I'll still give you a partial credit. Is there a penalty for giving a third wrong answer? No, no. Silver shamrock masks. There's a witch, there's a pumpkin, and a goblin? You got two or three, which okay. are a pumpkin. If someone wants to go for the other one, they can do that, but that'll be their whole turn, so it's probably not the best choice six dollars for you lydia all right well uh sanderson sanderson's sister bet midler kathy najimi sorry just very good 154 you've heard the perfect trio fletch uh <clears throat> alien movies directed by ridley scott that was alien uh prometheus and alien covenant you got it very good wow. 450 
Back to Jared. Linus will never discuss politics, religion, and the Great Pumpkin. Politics, religion, Great Pumpkin, 750. Lydia. Uh, Overlook Hotel, Jack Torrance, Wendy Torrance, Danny Torrance. Very good. Jack, Wendy, and Danny, $3. One more from Fletch. Um, I know Kurt Russell wasn't confirmed dead in, in the thing. But I'm not sure about the other two. Are you going for that one? Yeah, I'll say Kurt hey, Russell. Kurt Russell is one. Take a guess at another one. Um, you have it. Um, the thing. <laughs> uh, okay. The three Hitchcock movies that made Bravo's scariest moments were Psycho, The Birds, and Vertigo. Silver Shamrock Masks, Goblin was not the answer, it was a skeleton. No. The actors not confirmed dead were Kurt Russell, Keith David, and T.K. Carter. Oh, no, no longer. Lucy Suters and Dracula were Jack Seward, Arthur Holmwood, and Quincy Morris. Male characters who die in The Exorcist, Burke, Lancaster Marin, and Damien Karras. And then One Word Films, directed by Mike Flanagan, Oculus, Hush, Absentia. Okay. Lydia Fletch, Jared, one hundred and five fifty in your final bank for the night. If the two honest players spot the cheater, they're going to take that bank home, split it fifty-fifty. If not, we cut it in half once more. We lose one more honest player. So, talk it out. Who do you think the cheater is? I know it's not me. That's something I would expect the cheater to say. <laughs> I'm in coin flip mode here. Anyone want to okay. add anything? We're not very far along. <laughs> okay, Amanda has a fact about her new cheater. The cheater has a familiar, but they're more like acquaintances, really. <laughs> okay, need the three of you to please lock in your votes. See if you have found the cheater a third time. Start with Jared. I said Fletch. Okay, Fletch. I said Jared. Okay, now it comes down to Lydia's vote. Lydia, did you say Jared or Fletch? I said Fletch. Two for Fletch, and he has been voted out of the game. Fletch, ultimate moment of truth. <laughs> For a hundred and five fifty and a nice life on a farm somewhere, were you the cheater? Uh, that is utterly correct. <laughs> was the cheater? <laughs> done. Good job, Jared. Bob's Burgers in Canada split a hundred and five fifty. Fifty-two twenty-five apiece. Very nice. nicely done. Uh, we have a little more business to take care of here. We have a final audience question. All right, so. Uh, Everyone in a costume who is not one of our final three is up for it. We have Liz, Matt, CK, Aza, and Nadia. And I need absolutely everyone, contestants, audience, helper, everyone, I will vote as well. Go ahead and just DM me the name of your favorite costume. Just don't vote for yourself. <laughs> Whoever gets the most votes will win what is in the mystery box. Go ahead and lock those in. And as you do that, we're going to play our final audience question of the night. So here we go. This will be for your whole bank. Everyone in the audience will be able to take home the $20 they've made. Which of these Frankenstein cliches is the newest, being invented for 1939's Son of Frankenstein? It's Alive, Grave Digging, or an assistant named Igor? Talk about it, then we'll take the answer from Fletch. Which do you think is the newest? Uh, I'm going to go with It's Alive. It's Alive. Well, I can tell you it was not grave digging. It's Alive. See if the audience is taking home any money tonight at all. I'm sorry to say oh. they are not. It was an assistant named Igor. Oh, damn. That was the son of Frankenstein. It was spelled I-G-O-R. And then, of course, Mel Brooks made it even more famous. So, Igor. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Audience doesn't take home any money, but we do have a winner in our costume contest. <laughs> All right, so we have Liz, Matt, 
CK, Aza, and Nadia. Let's see who's going to win this. Not Liz, unfortunately. Or Shocking. Matt. Or Aza. It came down to CK and Nadia. And the winner of the 2022 Lie, Cheat, and Steal costume contest is CK as Smudge the Cat. Very good. Thank you. The fantastic costume and combination. Everyone had a great one. And as the winner of the costume contest, you have won your very own Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Awesome. Does CK get the same honor that Lydia did last year of being able to send it to whoever she wants? I mean, oh, yes. good. good. You, can, you can think yes. about who it could be a wonderful gift for. Is That's this great. the one I sent to you as a joke? No, like, no, it's a different one. The picture, different one. and then <laughs> different one. Wait, Colin, you have multiple Caillous? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he, he keeps inventing That's reasons scary. to give them away. The internet That's has scary. many Caillous. Kaizu, I don't know what's the plural. That's <laughs> Thanks awesome. Thanks for joining Thank on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Happy Halloween, everybody. We'll see you All next right. time. not really related to what happens in the movie. <laughs> not really for Christmas, Colin. I would have guessed Human Centipede with the tagline like that, but like... Yeah. yeah. No, no, I think, I think the tagline of Human Centipede is asses to asses, dust to dust. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly up the bank for the round. But we know our hookers, which is really what matters in this game. I gotta say, those, those bodyguards were bad at their job. <laughs> that's like the opposite of what you were supposed to do more importantly what did elvis think of the song <laughs> <laughs> second toughest thing he ever <laughs> he was he was bad he had used that card already he was tweeting about it from the toilet when he died <laughs> i mean this seems like something that would feel false i guess i mean in london i'm not sure if mm -hmm. And if it was in America, maybe. But I have no expertise here. Well, the song isn't called Werewolves of America, so. Werewolves of America. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get flagged for the Jaws theme. Uh, <laughs> I guess the punishment was just falling asleep. So this is recorded, right? So this is definitely know. recorded, yes, why? So so Perfect. we're totally getting him napping. Oh yeah, awesome. we're getting we're getting him napping on camera. Yeah, this is excellent. Going All right. out to the internets.